Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to explain you the main difference between uh, view binding and uh, data binding library. So uh, some of you who are just uh, getting started into this world of uh, Android development don't even know about uh, find view by ID and uh, how hard it was before. On uh, one hand uh, you are a lucky guy and on the other hand you will not appreciate enough how helpful view binding and uh, data binding are. I know that uh, lots of you are uh, still confused about the difference between uh, view binding and uh, data binding and uh, you might be wondering uh, should you use uh, them together in your project or uh, should you just uh, use a data binding for everything in your project. Now I'm going to answer all those questions and uh, explain you the main differences between those two libraries. So uh, first uh, let's start with a definition. So uh, a data binding library is a support library that allows you to bind UI components in your layouts to a data sources in your app using a declarative format rather than uh, programmatically. Then uh, on the other hand, a view binding is a feature that allows you to more easily write code that uh, interacts with the views. And uh, once a view binding is enabled in a module, it uh, generates a binding class for each uh, XML layout file present in that module. And uh, an instance of a binding class contains uh, direct references to all views that have an ID in the corresponding layout. Now, uh, unlike uh, view binding, where uh, binding classes uh, are uh, automatically generated for all uh, layout files in your project, with uh, data binding, if you want to get the view reference, you would need to convert each layout file to a data binding layout in order to generate the binding classes. So, uh, if you want to enable a view binding in your project, uh, you would need to add this code into your uh, Gradle build file so you need to add the build features and inside you need to declare a view binding to true or if you're using a data binding you would just uh, replace this uh, view binding with a data binding and that's uh, all you need to do to enable those two uh, uh, libraries so uh, when it comes to generated uh, binding classes, uh, you already know that uh, unlike a data binding where you would need to explicitly convert a layout file to a data binding layout to generate some uh, binding classes, for a view binding the compiler automatically generates uh, binding classes for all your layout files in the project. And uh, sometimes uh, you don't need uh, all of them. In uh, that case, you can add uh, one simple attribute to a layout file for which you don't want to generate a binding class. And you can just add this uh, view binding ignore attribute to a root layout element and uh, set its value to true. So uh, that's how you can stop uh, generating a binding class for that specific layout file. And uh, now the most important question. So what are the main differences between those two libraries? So uh, view binding API is uh, faster than a data binding as uh, it is not uh, utilizing the annotation processors uh, underneath and uh, when it comes to compile time speed uh, view binding is uh, more efficient. So uh, the one and only function of uh, view binding is to bind the views in the code uh, while data binding offers some uh, more options like uh, binding expressions which uh, allows you to write expressions that uh, connect variables to the views in the layout then uh, working with observable data objects so for example you don't have to worry about to refreshing the UI when the underlying data source changes. Then uh, we have uh, binding adapters. So uh, binding adapters are responsible for making the appropriate uh, framework calls to set the values. And uh, with the data binding we also have a two-way data binding. So the data binding library supports uh, two-way data binding and uh, the notation used for this type of binding supports the ability to receive data changes to a property and uh, listen to user updates to that property at the same time. On the other hand, uh, view binding does not support uh, layout variables or layout expressions, so uh, it can't be used uh, to declare dynamic UI content uh, straight from the XML layout files, and uh, view binding does not support uh, two-way data binding either. So uh, now you might be wondering, uh, should you use uh, both of them, or uh, it would be an overkill? Well, in some cases it is recommended to use uh, both uh, view binding and uh, data binding in the project, so uh, you can use uh, data binding in layout layouts that require advanced features and use a view binding in the layouts that do not. So the answer is yes, you can use both of them in your project. So uh, that will be all for this video, I hope that uh, I have cleared the air and removed any confusions you had uh, on this topic. So uh, like this video and uh, comment down below if you would want to see more tutorials about uh, some data binding features which I uh, mentioned in this video. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next one.
one that's rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, 